morning. It is Sunday morning. Well, a little later in the morning. We just got home from church. And after church, we had to run to PetSmart and get dog food. And now we're back home. It's another gorgeous sunny day. So we are just soaking in the sunshine. I'm about to make some breakfast. Brunch, really. Honestly, <laughs> we pretty much have brunch these days. Unless it's a school day, we just... I don't know, that's kind of like our family rhythm. No one eats really early in the morning. So I'm gonna make up some bacon and I know we've leftover pancakes. So we'll see, throw something together for breakfast. And then we're just gonna be home for a few hours. Lord willing, Jude will take a nap. And then we're going back out this afternoon to a friend's house. She invited us for like a, a liner. <laughs> that's basically our family's favorite meals, our brunch and liner. So she's making like a bigger, early dinner and so we're gonna go hang out at her house she actually renovated her house a couple years ago now so it's always so cool to go there and see her her original house structure was very much like our old house and so you know for years she would when she'd come to our old house she would talk about you know like all the things she was gonna do to hers because we hadn't been there yet and now being there we've you know seen hers both ways before the renovation and after and she just did an amazing job. So I'm gonna make some breakfast, throw in some laundry, and just get a couple things done before we go. So I'm gonna cook up some of this thick sliced bacon, and we always save our bacon grease and actually put some in the pan before I start cooking. And we'll do eggs, and like I said, some leftover pancakes. What's that? Oh, they're outside. Lara is our little waitress who went around and got everyone's order for what they want for breakfast. Very handy. All right, so while I make breakfast, I'm also gonna make bread for the week, or at least tomorrow. We'll see how long it lasts. And I've shared this recipe before, but I'll share it here because it is so quick and easy. It's one cup of warm water, and then a teaspoon of salt, and then I just melted two tablespoons of butter, you add that in and then also two tablespoons of olive oil and two tablespoons of honey or sugar, also, but I always do honey. All right, so once all the liquid's in there, then you just add three cups of bread flour or I do a mixture of all-purpose flour and then vital wheat gluten, but I'm actually very low on this. I maybe only have like a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half, so we're gonna see how it goes. I've done it with no wheat gluten, and it's just not as, you know, soft because it's not bread flour. So, you, you know, if you have the bread flour, use that. So it's three cups of this, and then half a packet of yeast, or which is like a teaspoon, a little more than a teaspoon. And I actually already have a half a packet because I made bread, you know, not, not too long ago. So you just keep the wet on the bottom and then the dry on top, and that's it. In three hours, we'll have a loaf of bread. Kind of like spread it out so that all the wet parts are covered. You make a little well and then you add your yeast. And that is it, my friends. And then I pick the light crust, that's just the way we like it, and then start. Alright, it is quiet time. Dan actually ran out with Luke, so I'm just home with the girls, and then Judah's napping, and Dan started a load of laundry for me when we got back, so I'm gonna probably switch that over, and just do like a quick once over in the house, kind of like that Sunday mess. I mean, even though we were out of the house most of yesterday, still there's plenty to pick up. So I'm just gonna do like a quick tidy, and then I want to go and actually clean out my car a little bit, get the shop back and vacuum it out, because it could definitely use it. So I'm gonna maybe pop in an earbud, listen to an audiobook or something, and just get a little done around the house and maybe have a little time to sit down. But we'll be relaxing and enjoying some rest at our friend's house later. And my bread, there's an hour and 48 minutes, so I'm actually going to lift it up. I'm actually gonna take out the little paddle. Whoops. I'm gonna take out the paddle that mixes it because then it doesn't bake inside the bread and it's done doing any kind of kneading at this point. So this is a good time to take it out. All right, the kitchen is all cleaned up, kind of deep cleaned a little bit. I swept and cleaned the counters, put away all the cast iron, the dishwasher is running. 
And these flowers, the tulips are basically dead at this point, but the Alstroemeria still holding strong. I'm telling you, it's like the best grocery store flower, like just really inexpensive. And these were from Tuesday and today's Sunday, so they're doing great. So we are all cleaned up, ready for tomorrow. I will say, so we moved into this house, what, six years ago, seven, seven years ago? And we painted our kitchen cabinets and they have held up really well, but I think just from the most recent years of wiping them, especially these cabinets here in front of the sink, you can definitely tell that the finish is kind of wearing off. So that is definitely going to be a project in my near future. I'm going to try to repaint all of the cabinet fronts and even the ones that we like touch very frequently, you can see it's like the paint is actually being worn down. So like, I don't know if you can really tell, but right there too. Of course, like the highest, most frequently used cabinets are the ones that you really notice it, especially there. And especially on camera, I feel like in person it's not as noticeable, but on camera you definitely can see it. So that is going to be a spring project for sure. Something I'll have to get to after these, this month of uh, April vlogs. So the lighting right now, not great, but I just wanted to kind of give you a peek at the car before. Definitely some crumbs and garbage. My kids brought home like some potted plants at one time that spilled, so that needs to be vacuumed. So my husband's things are in here. I have an Amazon return, so just, it, the whole thing needs to be cleaned out a little bit. Yeah, sorry, it's very dark. So it's all vacuumed. I have to put the mats back, but I'm just spraying down like the cup holders and the hard surfaces with just this thieves cleaner. Car is clean. I have the windows down. Just gonna let it air out a little bit. It is gorgeous outside, so I'm just enjoying the sunshine. But probably gonna go inside, make a little iced drink, and maybe sit and read until it's time to go. Daddy's home. Daddy. All right, Daddy, take him out. Yeah, I did. Daddy, take him out. Well, I, in fact, did not have any time to read. Pretty much when I was done cleaning the car. I just came inside and Dan was already on his way home. So we just got back from our friend's house. We had a really great dinner. So we had fun hanging out with them and seeing her. She has an older daughter, so it's nice to see her. She's just so big. But that's basically gonna be it for today. It's only, it's just before nine and I just folded a load of laundry and just gonna pack up this bread, put it in my little bread bag that I have and I might edit a little bit and then I'm gonna head to bed. Tomorrow's Monday, start of a new week. So I'm gonna end this vlog here. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.